pretty singer. Hallelujah. 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 Greetings. Greetings. One and all, greetings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greetings, greetings, all my contacts all around the world, wherever you are. Blessings, greetings. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise Jah. Yes, I want to do a session tonight, wherever you are. It may be morning, it may be afternoon, but where I'm at, it's night. It's 19.38 here in the UK. Hallelujah. Yes, greetings once again to all my contacts and followers, everyone that is tuning in onto this channel. Yeah, I want to share from the Word of God concerning prayer, you know, just to pray. And the Word of God clearly tells us about prayer. And Jesus taught us how to pray. So I want to encourage my viewers to share, you know, wherever you are viewing from around the world, please share this message. It will surely benefit some soul somewhere. It will surely benefit some individual. So please share this live in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, as I was saying, I'm doing a short moment on prayer. And I will be praying for a short time and just sharing the word of God in prayer. And Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. You know, we are familiar with the Lord's Prayer. And his disciples ask him, you know, teach us how to pray. You know, John taught his disciples to pray. So, Lord, teach us how to pray. And this prayer the Lord has taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen and Amen. Yes, if you agree, just put Amen in the comments. If you agree, just write in Amen. Amen. Now the Lord teaches us how to pray. And he calls us to pray to our Father. When we first receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we become born again by the Holy Spirit. Yes, by the Holy Spirit we become born again, we become children of God. And because of the Spirit of Christ that's living in us, we have been regenerated, we have been made anew. We acknowledge God as our Father. We cry, Abba, Father. That is the work of the Spirit of Christ in us. We acknowledge that we have a Father who is in heaven by the Spirit of Christ that now lives within us. So Jesus taught us to pray to the Father and he taught us our Father. So it's a cooperate prayer, it's a collective prayer. But this is also individual prayer. So you can acknowledge God as your Father. That's when I pray, I pray our Father. I pray my Father. Now there are many ways that we can call to the Father. David prayed to Yahweh. He prayed to Yahweh. He prayed to God and he acknowledged the Lord in prayer. So Jesus who is God manifest in the flesh. That is very important to remember you know who Jesus is. Some just see him just as a good teacher. Some just see him as a prophet. But Jesus is more than just a prophet. Or just is more than a great man. Jesus is God incarnate. So the word of God says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The word was God. The word was not a God with a small g but the word was God. Capital. So the word is God and Jesus is God. The word made flesh. So Jesus is showing us how to pray, to speak to the Father. And prayer is speaking to God. That's what prayer is. Prayer is speaking to God. God wants us to speak to him as his children. He wants us to have relationship with him. Many times we are struggling because we forget to pray. Many times we are carrying our burdens because we forget to pray. And this is what Jesus says. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. 
So I'm speaking about prayer. When we go to God, you know, we go to God with our burdens. Yes, with your cares, with your petition. If you're going to go shopping, you have a list of what you're going to buy. You're going to go to the supermarket. You're going to go to the shop. You make a list. You have a list of what you're going to be purchasing. If you can retain it without writing it down, that's good. But sometimes I have to write it down. So, you take your petition to the Lord in prayer. Jesus says, cast your cares upon me. So when you cast, when you release it to him in faith and trust in him by faith, he takes it. But you have to have faith and trust. You have to trust him. Hallelujah. So as children of God, we have to trust God when we pray. We have to believe God when we pray. Because the word of God says this. I'm going to go to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11. Verse 6. So prayer. When we pray, we must believe when we pray. Sometimes we don't get our prayers answered straight away. You know, sometimes we have to wait. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not all about the microwave. Everything nowadays is just quick, quick. But sometimes we just have to wait because God puts us on the potter's wheel. We are still a working process. We are still a working process. God has us in the potter's house. Hallelujah. But we have to have faith. Word of God says, Hebrews 11, verse 6, But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. What are you seeking for, my brother? What are you seeking for, my sister? Hallelujah. What are you seeking for, my friend? Hallelujah. This is what the Lord says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek God first. Seek God first in prayer. In making your petition known unto God. Seek God first. Whatever decisions you're going to take in life. Whatever move you're going to make. Hallelujah. Whatever your desire is. Seek God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God tells us as Isaiah the prophets prophesy in Isaiah. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Hallelujah. Let the wicked forsake his ways and let him return unto the Lord. For our God is merciful. He will forgive. God wants us as his sons and daughters, his children, to seek him more and more, to draw near to him. Hallelujah. To lay aside every weight of sin. For the word of God tells us, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. Hallelujah. And will heal their land. 
If you want healing in your life, you've got to seek the Lord. You got to seek God. You got to seek Jesus, Jehovah God, for yourself. Hallelujah. You got to seek Jehovah God for yourself. You got to call upon his name. You got to open your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. You got to turn around. Hallelujah. It calls for a turning. Hallelujah. Crying out to the Lord in repentance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we have to examine ourselves. And we can do this with the Word of God. From the Word of God. Hallelujah. Jesus tells us these words. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Jesus says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We are called to live by the word of God. Let the word of God be your final authority. Don't trust in the word of man, but trust in the word of God, the Bible. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what people say about the Bible. Doesn't matter what they think and what they say. The Bible is the Bible. The Bible is the word of God. Hallelujah. And no one can change it. They try to discredit it. People suffered and died for it from the sent from over centuries. Prophets, hallelujah, died for the Bible. In this country alone, they were martyred for the word of God. They had to run away from this country to the USA for the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The flower withereth. Grass withereth and the flower fadeth away. Hallelujah. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. This is what the Spirit is saying. The word of the Lord endures forever. Hallelujah. This written word. Hallelujah. It endures forever. The Spirit. Hallelujah. We have the singular word. We have the written word. Hallelujah. Everything will pass away. Everything will pass away. But the word of the Lord will not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass. Not one tittle, not one jot shall pass. Till all have been fulfilled. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you praise. God, I give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give you praise. God, touch your people. God, touch your people by your Holy Spirit. Those, God, that needs lifting. I pray, God, for them to be lifted. In the name of Jesus. I pray, God, by your Spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit says, It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. God is saying to you, my dear friends, it's not by might, nor by power. It's not by any might of ourselves. It is not by any power of ourselves. It is by the spirit of the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. It is by the Spirit of God and by the Spirit of God alone. We came to God by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. We did not come to God ourselves. Hallelujah. Remember this. You did not come to God by yourself. You did not come to know Jesus Christ by yourself. Hallelujah. You did not come to faith in Jesus Christ, the Almighty God, by yourself. Hallelujah. It was the work of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Not the work of the flesh. 
It's not the work of man, but it's the work of the Holy Spirit. When you come to know Christ, you're born again by the Spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jah. You know you are born again by the Spirit of Christ. Because you encounter the Holy Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. So nobody can tell you otherwise. That's why it's called personal experience. It's a personal experience. It's a personal encounter. Hallelujah. 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 So God wants us to seek him more. And more. God wants us to draw near to Him. God wants to turn unto Him with all of our heart. Hallelujah. God wants to break us, mold us, conform us. Hallelujah. To the image of His Son. Hallelujah. Being conformed to the image of the Son of God. Hallelujah. God is going to work great and mightily in this year 2024 by His Spirit. There's going to be a move of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, there's going to be a move of the Spirit. Hallelujah. You don't have to do a sermon. You wanna, you can, yes, you can write out a sermon. But when the Holy Spirit takes over, that sermon that you had planned is going to go out the window. Hallelujah. You won't go to, the, you won't go to what you've written out. You won't go to those pages of the sermon that you that you written out because the holy spirit is going to come upon you is going to come upon us and we're going to speak by the leading of the holy spirit they preach the gospel hallelujah by the power of god sent down from heaven hallelujah hallelujah that is why the word of god tells us it's not by might it's not by our intellect it's not by our education. It's not by our knowledge. Hallelujah. It's not by our wisdom. Hallelujah. But it's by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The same Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives in us. Resurrection power. My God. My God. I've got to, I've got to just calm myself down a bit. I've just got to calm because I can feel the Spirit moving. But I've got to calm myself down. Hallelujah. Because I want you to get the message. Yes, the message. The word of God tells us. Calls us to pray. Hallelujah. And the Lord says. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. I want to ask my dear listeners out there, what are you thirsting for? There's so much in this world, but what are you thirsting for? What are you, what are you craving for? What are your heart's desire? What is your desire in life? What do you want more? Ask yourself. Take a moment to think. What are you craving for? What are you thirsting for? What are you hungering for? You have a house. You have a home. You have a place to live. You have money. You can survive. You can get through. You have food. You have shelter. You have vehicles. You have certain things in life. But have you got Jesus Christ? Have you got Jesus Christ? What is life? What is our life without Christ? Hallelujah. Our life without Christ is empty. Jesus says, the Lord says, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, purpose, for every one of us to have life and to have it more abundantly. I'm not speaking about material things. Life does not consist in the material things that we have. 
how much we have in our bank accounts, the clothes we wear, hallelujah, and all the vanities and vanities that we have. No, life does not consist of that. He that have the Son of God have life. The life of God. He that have not the Son of God have not life. I want to ask my viewers out there to share this life. Share this life. Hallelujah. You can only give what you have. You can only share what you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have enough on your plate for yourself, surely you have enough to share with somebody else. Hallelujah. Each of us have been given a gift. Share the gift that God has given to you. Share the word of God. Encourage each other. Encourage the brother. Encourage the sister. Seek for the lost. Go out. Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tell somebody. Phone somebody. Give somebody a call. Send somebody a message. Hallelujah. There are many ways to spread the gospel to the lost souls around the world today with the technology that the Lord God Almighty has given to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So prayer, prayer is essential for a Christian. It's essential. Like we need food. We need food for the body. We need water. You know, we need to sleep. You know, we need to rest. God gave us a day so we can rest. God gave us food. All these things are essential for the body. Think about prayer. Prayer. Relationship. Relationship. Talking to God. Jesus wants to come into his church. Hallelujah. Many of us are going to church. But God is not in the church. Hallelujah. Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone, any man, any woman, hear my voice and will open the door, I will come into him. And I will sup with him and he with me. God does not live in a building made by hands. God wants to live in his temple. The Holy Spirit comes to live in us. So when we meet in the building, we are going into the building with God in us hallelujah we are going into the building that we have prepared that God has given to us as a meeting place so we can meet and congregate we can praise and worship and pray alien communicate with him and with others and fellowship together but that is not where God lives hallelujah the father lives within us by the Spirit, for we are the temple of the living God. I don't have a religion. No. I don't have a religion. I have God. God lives in me. I live in God, and God lives in me. I move in God. Hallelujah. 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 I know we all should know and experience what God has done for us. Have you got a testimony what God has done for you? Hallelujah. The word of God tells us. They overcame him. By the word of their testimony. And by the blood of the lamb. So my brothers and sisters. I want to encourage you. In brief. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Daniel. 
in the book of Daniel. We see how Daniel was committed to prayer. He prayed three times a day. Hallelujah. He never stopped praying. He prayed continually. Set time. Hallelujah. Is a song I sing. Goes like this. Daniel was a man of prayer. Daily prayed three times a day. Till one day they had him cast in the den of lions in the den in the den fear could not alarm him Jaja shut the lion's mouth so they could not harm him in the den in the den fear could not alarm him Jaja shut the lion's mouth so they could not arm him in the cross in the cross be my glory ever in the cross in the cross be my glory ever hallelujah daniel he was a man of prayer he was already prepared and a lot of us we are caught unawares because we were not prepared in prayer yes Many of us, when things begin to move and trials begin to take place, the reason why some of us stumble and fall and react in a way that is not pleasing is because we were not prepared in prayer. Daniel was prepared. He was prepared. He was a man of prayer. He was prepared for the lion's den. He believed in his God. He had a relationship with his God. So we need to be prepared for the trials, for the testing times that is ahead of us. Hallelujah. For the glorious times, for the great times ahead of us, we need to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. If you got a vehicle, if you got a car, your car needs to go for a service. Every so often you got to take your car to be service you got to have an MOT checkup on your car yes we have to do the same with our lives we have to go into the secret place go into the secret place get a service checkup get a MOT checkup get MOT'd get holy spirit service get holy spirit mot hallelujah hallelujah god is calling his church to higher heights to come up higher to come up higher john was in the spirit on the lord's day thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah the spirit says come up higher you want to see, you got to come up higher. You want to hear, you got to come up higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. When you see God in prayer, God will reward you. 
Whatever your needs are, seek God in prayer. Take it to God in prayer. Whatever your petition is, whatever you're facing, spiritually, physically, emotionally, take it to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Depression can leave you. Take it to God in prayer. Sickness can leave you. Take it to God in prayer. Financial poverty can leave you. Take it to God in prayer. Take everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sharing this with you, my brothers and sisters, everyone out there. I'm sharing it with myself also. Yes, I speak to you. I speak to myself also. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to somebody out there. I'm speaking to myself. Hallelujah. If it's just myself I'm speaking to, then that's good enough. Hallelujah. But I want to speak to somebody out there. You don't have to carry it alone. You don't have to think there is another way out. There is another option. No, take it to God in prayer. And watch God work it out for you. Don't fight it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't fight your battles. No, it's not a physical battle we are in. No, we don't use fists. We don't use guns. We don't use knives. This is spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is spiritual warfare. Take it to God in prayer. Don't let the devil rob you of your victory. The Lord Jesus Christ says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Who is God speaking about? God is speaking about Satan, the devil, Lucifer, and his agents, the demons. They will use individuals. They will use people to fight against you. The devil will use even yourself if he can get a hold. He will even use yourself to destroy yourself. Hallelujah. Many are suicidal. Many are depressed. Many are feeling like they want to give up. But don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A quitter. A quitter never wins. Hallelujah. If you quit, you're never going to win. Quitters don't. Don't win. Just when you're thinking... Of throwing in the towel. Your breakthrough is coming. Hallelujah. Your breakthrough is coming. But you've got to hold on. Keep the faith. Hallelujah. Fight the good fight of faith. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Mighty God of Jacob. Hallelujah. Yes the name of Jesus is above every other name. Hallelujah. I know some don't like to hear the name Jesus. Many out there don't like the name Jesus. But there is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is breakthrough in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is anointing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. He is a God that is present. Hallelujah. God is our help. A present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. Pray. Keep praying. Your breakthrough is going to come, brothers, sisters, brethren. It's not by chance you have connected to me on this platform. It's not by chance. It's not by coincidence. The Spirit of God is moving. The Spirit of God is working. 
The Spirit of God is doing something in you. God wants to lift you to another level. God wants to take you to another level. So if you are connected with me, believe God. Nothing is by coincidence. Pray. See God. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, says the Lord, and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. God wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. The land is you, the body, your body, your spirit, your soul. God wants to heal you. God wants to restore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we have to pray. This is what God says. Jehovah says, Jehovah says, if my people, this is what God says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. Yes, we have to humble ourselves. No, you have to do it. You, yes, you. God says you, yourself. Yes, you, yourself. He says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble, humble themselves. Bring yourself to a place of humility, humbleness. Empty yourself of self. Hallelujah. Empty yourself of self. And pray and seek the face of God and turn from wicked ways. God says he will hear from heaven and he will heal. He will heal you. He will heal us. And you and I will be vessels, instrument for God to use for his glory, for his honor, to touch hearts, to touch lives, to make a difference. Because many are not going to know and see Jesus, but through you. Hallelujah. God has purpose. your life, my life, our lives, for somebody else to see Jesus in us. So Jesus says, you are the light of the world. When he was here, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. And Jesus says, if we follow him, we will not be in darkness, but in the light. So, as followers of God, we are the light in this world. Hallelujah, we are the light. As followers of God, we are the light in this world. Hallelujah, we are the light. I pray right now, Father, for every one viewing this message right now. I pray, Father, for the light to shine in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, for the gift that is in them to be stirred up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray, Father, God, that the gifts that you have placed in them by the power of the Holy Spirit, the gifts in them be stirred up even now in Jesus' name. Let there be a stirring. Let there be a stirring. Let there be a stirring. Let there be a stirring, be a stirring in Somebody, now, Holy Spirit, for God, you are a present God. You are right where they're at. God, barrier distance is no barrier for you. Hallelujah. You fill heaven. Hallelujah. And the earth is your footstool. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Touch somebody. Holy Spirit, stir the hearts of your people. Let the gifts 
of prayer. Let the gifts of seeking you stir their hearts again to return back again to their first love. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, the Lord says, yes, come back. Return back to your first love. Return back to your first love. Hallelujah. Fallen soldiers. Hallelujah. I want to pray for those that have fallen. Hallelujah. The soldiers, those that were once on the battlefield, those that were once preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, those that were singers, musicians, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ through songs, through music, preaching the word of God, but have fallen along the way that have backslidden the enemy has crept in and led them astray and they've gone cold. Hallelujah. I pray now, Father, Jehovah God, for deliverance for them. I pray, Father, for them to be restored in the name of Jesus. I pray for them to be restored. Holy Spirit of God, it is you, Holy Spirit, who draws. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will draw men back to the fold. Draw individuals back to the family. Draw them back, those that have gone out from the way. I pray for them to come back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, the Spirit of God says it's not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, save the Lord. It's not about our eloquency. It's not about how good we can talk or how good we can speak. God is just looking for vessels that are available. Just make yourself available. Just open up your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what... The Lord says, Hallelujah, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and will open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. Yes, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. God is looking at you. Jesus is looking at you. And God is saying, look, behold, I am here. I am standing at the door and I'm knocking. And if you hear my voice and if you open the door, the door of your heart, I will come in and I will sup with you and you with me. It's talking about relationship, fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I repeat myself. Christianity is not a religion. To all those out there, Christianity is not a religion. Hallelujah. Christian are those that have a relationship with Christ. That's why they're called Christians, because we are called to be Christ-like. We call to be like Christ. We conform to the image of Christ. Hallelujah. So I'm not Catholic. I'm not Methodist, Protestant, Anglican, Baptist, JW, whatever you want to call yourself or name yourself. No. I have a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Born again of the Spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise Jah. Hallelujah. Born again of the Spirit of Christ. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Christ in me. What is the hope of glory? Christ in us. Hallelujah. Many want the glory but they don't want to go through the suffering. 
Yes. The glory comes through suffering. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you getting this, my brothers and sisters? You got to prepare yourself. You got to prepare yourself in prayer. For when the suffering comes, when the trial comes, when the persecution comes, you can laugh. You can go through it. You can laugh at it. Because you have already been prepared by Christ. You are in the secret place of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the glory comes through suffering. If we suffer, Gee. hallelujah, with him, for him, we shall also be glorified, hallelujah, with him, hallelujah. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows, hallelujah, of the Almighty. Yes, dwelling in the secret place, in the secret place of the Most High. That's the place to be. Hallelujah. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. You can stand every storm. Hallelujah. All you need to say is Jesus. When you say Jesus, the enemy have to flee. Because the demons know there is power in that name. Hallelujah. Many people are discrediting the name of Jesus because they don't know the power in the name of Jesus. They've never experienced the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, I know the power in the name of Jesus. Demons come to me and when I say Jesus, I see demons flee. Hallelujah. So I know there is power in the name of Jesus. I know there is power in the name of Jesus. I know the name of Jesus works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's how we praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those who don't know, hallelujah means praise Jah. Hallelujah. In the English with a J, we say Jah. But in the, in the Hebrew with a Y, we say Yah. Yah, Yahweh, hallelujah, Yahweh, and Yah is shortened for Yahweh, Yah is shortened for Yahweh, and Jah is shortened for Jehovah, I just thought I'd drop that in, yes, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to God, I feel the power of God here. And I pray that you also will experience that same power, that same spirit, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. I pray where you are, wherever you are, this moment, this present time, earlier viewing, listening, that the Holy Spirit manifests to you His goodness towards you, His love and restore what needs to be restored in your life. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all, my viewers. Thank you for sharing. Please share this broadcast. Somebody will be blessed. Somebody will be touched. Hallelujah. Because the Spirit of God is touching my life. The Spirit of God is moving in my life. So, therefore, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Hallelujah. To everyone that believe the gospel, the gospel is the power of God. The power of God unto salvation to those that believe. To the Jews first and also to the Greeks to the Gentile, hallelujah. So therefore, Jews also needs Jesus Christ. Jews, they need their Messiah. If you are a Jew and you are listening, you need to accept Jesus Christ. Yes, Jews and Gentile, all needs to accept Jesus Christ. All needs to 
come to Jesus Christ and have faith in him. Hallelujah. All needs to be saved. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. God manifest in the flesh. God incarnate. Hallelujah. Is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Almighty God is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The one true living God is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, I tell it everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, this is my message. I tell it. I don't apologize. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a living God. Hallelujah. And we can show it from the Bible. It is written. Hallelujah. Jesus said it. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by heavy word of God that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. God bless you, Sister Emma. God bless you, Sister Emma. Hallelujah. Yes. We live by the word of God. Build up your faith by the word of God. We're in such a time as this that we need to build our faith up. In the word of God. There's so many false doctrines. So many false teachers. On social media. So many doctrines of devils. On social media. For those of you that know Jesus Christ. Stick with him. Those of you that know God. The most high. Hallelujah. That are living for the most high. Jesus Christ. Stay with God. Hallelujah. Stay with God. Stay with the father. Stay with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Stay with God. Hallelujah. One God. Hallelujah. Manifest in the flesh. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, He is the everlasting Father. It is written, Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father, hallelujah, and of his kingdom there is no end. Jesus Christ is God. He is the everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. For we please the Father that in him should dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is Yahweh in the flesh. Jesus is Yah in the flesh. Jesus is Jah in the flesh. Jesus is Jehovah in the flesh. Jesus is God the Lord in the flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Prayer. Prayer will change your life. Prayer will turn things around for you. With Christ in the vessel. With Christ in the way. With a conquering tread. We will push ahead. And he will roll the sea away. When Israel out of bondage came. A sea before them lay. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Lord spoke the word and told Moses to stretch forth the rod. And Moses obeyed the word of God and the sea was parted. Forward still, church, church of the living God, forward still, it is Jehovah's will. Though there is billows dashing and spraying, though there is trials and temptations, though there is doctrines of devils on every side, we know the truth. Jesus says, when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. We, I say we, referring to the body of Christ, every child of God, born of the Spirit of Christ. We 
know the truth. And the Lord says, when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. We have been set free by the truth. And truth is a person. Truth is a person. And that person is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ comes to live in us by the person of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ comes to live in us by the person of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Through, pray through. O oh, my soul, why art thou cast down? Hallelujah. I will yet hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't allow the devil to lie to you. To cast you down. Stand firm. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Firm. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That is from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. I'm going to run through another scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. I'm praying for you all. I'm praying for every one of you. Pray for me. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you. Yes, the enemy comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. Yes, my dear sister Emma. Yes, that's the work of the devil. But you know what Jesus says? I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. When we have Jesus Christ, we don't lack. We are complete. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor received begging bread. Hallelujah. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor received begging bread. Hallelujah. Even in old age, says the Lord God Almighty, I am he that carrieth you. Yes, we cross Satan under our feet. Yes, sister. Yes, the devil, we crush him under our feet. In Jesus' name, we have to be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Living in the Spirit, walking in the Spirit. Hallelujah. For I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Praise the Lord. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Do you know who is in you? Who is in you? Hey, hallelujah. Who is in you? I ask you, who is in you? Can you tell me somebody? Tell me who is in you. Hallelujah. Tell me somebody. Yes. Yes, Sister Emma says the Holy Spirit, yes. Just, just put a comment, who is living in you? Hallelujah. When you have the Holy Spirit living in you, the Holy Spirit is greater than he that is in the world. Greater than the devil. The Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is living in us by the Holy Spirit. So Jesus is living in us. Jesus says, I I'm in the Father, hallelujah, and the Father is in me and I in you. So God lives in me and God is greater in me than he that is in the world. That's all you need to know. You just need to know who is living in you and be assured. Hallelujah. I'll never leave you nor forsake you, says the Lord. I'll be with you, says God even until the end of this world. We don't just speak words. We have assurance, we have promises. Promises that will never fail. Promises that will never fail. Man's promises will let you down. Man's promises will fail. Man will, will not keep their promises at all times, but God's promises is true. Yes, it's yea and amen. 
He is the good shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. Because he provides everything that I need. So he taught us to pray. Give us this day our daily bread. That's our Father. Our Father provides for us. Just like how the parent provides for their children. So our Heavenly Father provides for us. So I'm going to read the scripture. Acts 2, 17. Why we need to be prepared in these last days. And it shall come to pass, Acts 2, 17, reads thus, And it shall come to pass in the last days. Do you know we are living in the last days? Yes, we are living in the last days. Some may not believe it, some may not be aware of it, but it's written. Just go to the book, read the book, and take a look at what is happening. The best news is the Bible news. Hallelujah. What you're hearing on the news, you'll see it in the Bible. What you're seeing in front of your eyes happening from day to day, you'll see it in the Bible. And it shall come to pass, says God, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, this is not the work of man, it's not the work of the flesh, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. God will reveal things to you and I by the Spirit, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit. God says of his spirit. So we need to know what spirit we are under. What spirit we are in. We need to be in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And to be in the Spirit of God, we must first receive Jesus in our heart by the Holy Spirit, being born again and living in the Spirit. So those who are not yet into the kingdom, who are not yet born again, is going to be the work of the Holy Spirit that's going to make them born again and bring them into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Hallelujah. Just make yourself available. When the Holy Spirit begins to be poured out upon the people of God, no one can stop it. You are going to prophesy. The word God will put in your mouth, it will come out. You will speak it because it will be by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Bless you, Sister Emma. Seven months I was born again. Yes, by the Holy Spirit. We, we can only be born again by the Spirit of Christ. God bless you, Sister Emma. Keep worshipping God. Keep praising God. Keep following God. Keep loving Jesus. Yes. Keep loving Jesus. And you will be on fire for God. Yes, I hear you, sister. I hear you. Jesus saved me. Yes, he saved me also. So keep loving Jesus and you will be on fire for God. Hallelujah. And they shall prophesy. When the Spirit of God is poured out upon your life, you will but prophesy. The Lord has spoken. Who cannot but 
prophesy. Hallelujah. By the leading of the Holy Spirit. Many people are claiming to be prophets. Test the Spirit. Test the Spirit. Hallelujah. That's what we need to do. There are many people who are calling themselves prophets. Hallelujah. Or individuals calling themselves prophets. What the Bible tells us, how to know whether one is a prophet or not. We got to go with the word of God. If it comes to pass, it's from God. If it does not come to pass, it's not from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is by the Spirit. We must be led by the Spirit. And, it's, and I will show wonders in the heaven above. So God says he's going to show wonders in the heavens above. There are going to be signs in the heavens Things are going to be seen in the heavens. Things that have never been seen before. Unimaginable things. Things that will astound many. Hallelujah. There are going to be signs. Hallelujah. Signs in the heavens above. Heaven is above. Note that heaven is above and hell is below. Hallelujah. And this is the earth that we are on. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. So God says in the last days there are going to be signs in the heavens above. There are going to be blood and fire in the earth and vapors of smoke. Yes. The sun shall be turned into darkness. So the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. So it says notable day. It's going to be a day that is notable. It's clear. Yes. People will know. God is working God is real we've never seen this before we are seeing prophecy fulfilling before our eyes we are seeing things coming to pass we are seeing wars we are seeing fulfillment of prophecy even now in this present hour in the east in the west in the north and the south in our very cities, in our communities, in our countries. We are seeing it, doctrines of devils. Yes, people rejecting Jesus and the name of Jesus, Yeshua. Hallelujah. We are seeing people are coming up with all kinds of doctrines of devils where Timothy, Paul wrote to Timothy and told him in the last days, there's going to be doctrines of devils. So many. I'm not going to go on that. I'm not going to touch that at this moment. But I want my listeners to focus on prayer. Focus on drawing near to God. Building up a relationship with God. Relationship. Our ministry is going to come out of our relationship with God. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Our relationship. Hallelujah. So it's important that we have a relationship with God. Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed even all night. Scripture tells us that Jesus went away to pray. Hallelujah. Even though he is God in the flesh. Jesus is teaching us. He's showing us. How we need to pray and to set time apart and pray. And how important prayer is with the Father. So can we, so we can be led and be instructed by God. So that we can do the work of God. Prayer. 
prayer. So the scripture tells us, and it shall come to pass, verse 21 of Acts chapter 2, the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. God says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Lord. The Lord in the Old Testament is the Lord in the New Testament. Is the Lord in the New Testament. Jehovah in the Old Testament is Jesus in the New Testament. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Jehovah, Yahweh, in the Old Testament is Jesus in the New Testament. Romans chapter 10 tells us, How shall they preach except they be sent? Yes. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Hallelujah. So they need to hear the preacher. God has purpose it this way. So people hear the message of salvation to be saved in Jesus' name through the preaching of the gospel. Hallelujah. So people can come to faith in Jesus come to faith in Jesus Christ. When you come to faith in Jesus Christ, you are connected to God. This is God's plan for the world, for all mankind, Jews and Gentile. Hallelujah. He was prophesied about. He was spoken about thousands of years ago. Isaiah the prophet prophesy about him and the Lord himself also prophesy about his coming in Genesis chapter 3. Hallelujah. Abraham spoke about him. All the prophets, they wrote and spoke about him. Hallelujah. So whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I called out to Jah and he saved me because Jesus is God. So you can call on the name of Jesus and be saved. You can call on that name because that name is salvation. That means salvation. Jesus means salvation. Jehovah is our salvation. Yahweh is our salvation. Jesus is our salvation. God is our salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is a promise from God. Whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You just need to have a little bit of faith, small as a mustard seed. Pray. Pray. If you go on your knees, if you bend your knees, and it's not just the bending of the knees, it's about the spirit of our heart. If we humble ourselves or we humble our hearts, be of a contrite, broken spirit and a contrite heart, God will hear. If you're broken spirit and contrite heart, God will hear you. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus. God will hear you. God will answer you. God will come to you. Hallelujah. You can be praying five times a day, ten times a day, every day, every year, and still that God don't speak to you. How can you be praying to a God does not, that does not speak back to you? Hey, but I want to tell you, there is only one God who will speak back to you, who will speak to you, and that is Jesus Christ. Thank you, my dear sister. Thank you for that beautiful word, that beautiful message. May the Lord bless you and keep you.
turn his face and be gracious to you and bring you peace, love. Likewise, my sister, I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, there's only one God that will speak to you, and that's Jesus Christ. Yes, you've been praying for many years, for years after years. You've been following religion. You're in religion. And still God has not spoken to you. You don't need a second person for God to speak to you. God can speak to you direct. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can speak to you directly. When Jesus speaks, God is speaking. Hallelujah. When Jesus speaks, God speaks. When God speaks, Jesus speaks. Hallelujah. When Jesus speaks, the Lord speaks. Hallelujah. For he is the Lord from heaven and the Lord is the Spirit. And the Lord is the King of kings. And the Lord is the Lord of lords. The Lord is the Almighty. Hallelujah. The Lord is the Lion of Judah. The Lord is the Lamb that was slain from before the foundation of the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving a wretch like me. Hallelujah. Who am I that a king should die for me? Who am I? Who am I that a king should lay down his crown, his splendor, his glory, and give his life for one like me? Glory to his majesty. Hallelujah. Glory to his majesty. The King of kings and the lords of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. The great I am, Jesus Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus is real. God is real and God is alive. And God is coming back. The Lord says, Behold, I come quickly. Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to pay every man according to their work shall be. So, brothers and sisters, let us press on to do good. Let us work good. Let us do good. For God is good. And God will reward everyone according to their works. If you do bad, you're going to get a bad pay. Yes. If you do bad, you're going to get a bad pay. If you do good, you're going to get a good pay. So Jesus says he's going to Pay everyone according to their works, according to what you do. What are you doing for God? What are you doing for God? What are you saying for God? Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Jesus is coming and he's coming quickly. It's written. Therefore, I want to encourage my brothers and sisters, pray. Don't give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. The Lord says, when you see these things, look up. For your redemption, joy if nigh. Signs in the heavens, signs upon the earth, blood and fire, vapor of smoke, wars, rumors of wars, Earthquakes in diverse places, pestilence, famine. Hallelujah. All these things are the beginning. All these signs are the beginning of sorrows. And they shall persecute you. And you shall be killed for my name's sake. Many will be martyred. Many will be killed, persecuted. Hallelujah. It's happening even now. Yes, even now it's happening. All around the world, people are being martyred for Jesus. So only name the devil fears. The only name the devil's fear is Jesus. You want to know who these false teachers are? Confront them with the name of Jesus and see the reaction. You know who they are. 
I test them. I try them. That's what I do. Confront them with the name of the Lord and see their reaction. By their fruits you shall know them. By their fruits. Hallelujah. Their actions. Their conducts. What comes out. Hallelujah. You will know them by their fruits. Yes, the name of Jesus is power, 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 power. Hallelujah. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Some people don't understand the name of Jesus. It seems a common name. Everybody use it. They use it in their conversation lightly. They blaspheme it. They curse. They use it as a curse name. But they don't understand the power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus speaks of deity, deity, fullness, hallelujah. The name of Jesus speaks of authority, power when used in the right way, hallelujah. Because anybody can say the name of Jesus. But when you live in and you know Jesus, and you use the name Jesus, demons tremble, demons flee, demons can't take it. If you got the demon in you, and you don't, you know you can know when, the, when you got a demon, in, in the, a person got a demon in them, just use the name Jesus, just say Jesus, and you, and, you, and you will see the response. Hallelujah. It's a name that they, you either love it, or you hate it. You either love it or you loathe it. So you can know, you can test the spirit with the name of Jesus. Yes, I know Yeshua, Yeshua in the Hebrew, translated in the English is Jesus. Yes, I know people make many comments. I'm not going to say what they say, but they degrade the name of Jesus. They belittle the name of Jesus because they have never had the experience in the power of the name of Jesus. Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach. It's only those who have experienced the power in that name. Yes. I can call on the name of Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus. You can call on the name of Jesus. Yes. My sister says, I've seen it before I mentioned Jesus and they fleed, fled. Yes, I totally agree. I've had demons, I've had demons come into my room. <laughs> I've had demons come into my room and just, I just say by the Spirit, Jesus. And they flee, they run. Just say Jesus, nothing else. Just Jesus, they're gone. Can't take that name. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Yes, brothers and sisters out there, you need to say Jesus. Jamaicans, Africans, West Indians, India, China, Pakistan, Hallelujah, Asia, Europe, you need to say Jesus. Jesus. Jesus over the airways. Hallelujah. Jesus in the environment, Jesus in the atmosphere, hallelujah, Jesus, 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 at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, the Most High God, Jesus Christ is Lord. So tell those demons out there. Tell your enemies, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hell is trembling right now. Right now I'm on TikTok. I'm going over live around the world. Demons, hell is trembling. Hallelujah. Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I break the chains of your life, in Jesus' name. I break worries, I break fear. In Jesus' name, I break uncertainty. In Jesus' name, I break doubts. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I break the power of Satan 
from your lives. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Spirit of God is moving. Spirit of God is moving all over the world. All over the world, Spirit of God is moving. Hallelujah. 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 Fear not. Fear not. Don't be afraid. Stand still and see the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep praying. I'm going to close in a short moment. I'm going to close in a short moment. But I want to encourage my listeners to pray. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, God incarnate, hallelujah, God in the flesh, hallelujah, the great and mighty God of heaven, the Holy One of Israel, hallelujah, the awesome God, the terrible God, the dreadful God, hallelujah, the God who is great and mighty, the God who cannot be compared with any other gods, for all other gods are false gods. There is no God like Jehovah God. Hallelujah. There is no God beside Jehovah God. He is the Lord. He is the Almighty. He is the Prince of Peace. And if you want peace in your life today, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want eternal life, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. My brothers and sisters, humble yourselves. Humble yourselves, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and God will lift you up in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Love you too, sister, in Jesus' name. Jesus says this. Luke 18, I'm going to wind down with this. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint so I begin with prayer I started with prayer and I'm gonna end with prayer don't faint don't give up in your prayer life this is a word from God to somebody. Your breakthrough is coming. Your prayer has been heard. God has a set time, an appointed time to move, to act. Don't give up on God. Don't throw in the towel. This is not the time to go back. This is not the time to doubt God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not the time to be afraid, but this is the time to trust in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God, Holy Spirit is moving all around the world, right where you are right now. I can feel this tangible presence of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. I can feel this awesome presence of the Almighty God right here in my room and I pray that this same awesome presence, manifestation of God Almighty, Most High, touch your life, touch your lives in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name I pray God delivers you. I pray God heals you, broken hearted, suicidal, drug addictions, hallelujah, whatever your addictions are, whatever you are addicted to, whatever oppression or depression you are going through, I pray the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ ministers to your spirit now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break every chain, for the Lion of Judah breaks every chain and gives the victory again and again. Hallelujah. 
Raba ke se ki anda rada rada bashanda. Raka se ki anda yada boko se ki anda rada bashanda. Raka se ki anda rada rada bashanda rada bashanda rada bashanda. I pray, my brothers and sisters, that you keep praying. Pray for the nations. Pray for your enemies. Pray for those that persecute you, says the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray. When he was on the cross, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Pray for your enemies. Pray for them. Pray for your enemies. Pray for the persecutors. Pray for them, the unbelievers. Pray for them. Pray for your household. Pray for your community. In the name of Jesus Christ. And he spake a parable. Jesus is speaking unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Children, pray. Men, pray. Women, pray. People, pray. Pray. Lift up holy hands and pray. Lift up your voice to God and pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Where the one, where the twos are gathered together, there am I in the midst. Agree. You got a prayer request. Just put prayer. If you need a prayer, just put prayer. Just put pray for me. Hallelujah. I've sent it. God says, I've prayed for you. I've prayed for you already. God is going to meet you where you're at. Hallelujah. I've prayed for you already. Those of you that are seeking, you know there is more to life. You might have a religion. I don't know what your religion is. There are many religions, you know. But this is not religion. This is not religion. This is relationship. This is knowing God for yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come out of religion. Come out of religion. Come out. Take off the coat of religion. Take off the coat of religion and put on the coat of life. Life. Because Life is in Jesus Christ. And when you have Jesus Christ, you have life. Put on, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm praying for you, Sister Emma. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep loving Jesus. Emma, this is a word for you, my sister Emma. Keep Love in Jesus, and you will be on fire for God. Grow in Jesus Christ. I pray that you grow in the grace, in the knowledge, and the wisdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep loving Jesus. You will be on fire for God. God's going to use you, my sister. God's going to use you. Just keep praying. Prepare yourself. God's going to use you. I cancel every plan of the enemy from against your life. I cancel every power, principalities, works of the enemy from hell from against your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Sister, the word of God is this for you. When the enemy shall Come in like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. When the enemy comes in against you, when the enemy comes against you, don't worry, don't fret. The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. So don't fear. Pray. Keep praying. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. I want to play a song. Amen. Oh, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm going to go out with this song. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, my brothers and sisters, share this, share the word of God. You can reach somebody with this message. You can bless somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord of hosts. Hallelujah.
ハレルヤー Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, keep praying, keep praying on. One more song as I sign off. ハレルヤー Yes, sister, one day I will invite you to go live with me one day, sister. Sister Emma, on another occasion, I plan to go live with you. Hallelujah. Yes, the message is in the music. Yes, the message is in the song. In the music, there's a message. This is a war. We're in a warfare, spiritual warfare. So we have to put on the old armor. We got to strap up ourselves with the knowledge of Jesus Christ, with the word of God. For we are in spiritual battle. This is a war. Hallelujah. For souls. Hallelujah. So don't be ignorant of the enemy's device. Put on the old armor of God. The name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. By the spirit of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. 
God bless you, each and every one. Praying for you. Keep praying. I'm praying for you. As Jesus says, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Don't give up. Don't faint. Keep praying. Pray until something happens. Pray until something moves. You got to just keep praying, my brothers and sisters. Prayer is beautiful. Prayer is beautiful. You know, prayer is beautiful. Yes. Persevere. Pray without ceasing. We are called to pray without ceasing. Pray always in the Spirit, by the Spirit. You don't have to wait until you get home to pray. If you're on the bus, you can pray. When you're driving in your car, you can pray. Hallelujah. When you're flying in the airplane, you can pray. In your workplace, everywhere, you can pray. In Jesus' name, pray. Keep praying. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to switch off. This is my... I think this is my third time on social media, so I'm going to close. Amen. I hear that testimony, sister. He is moved so much, or he moved so much for me. He healed my mom from cancer. I prayed and prayed, and her result was clear. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Sister Emma, glory to God for that testimony. Jesus heals. God is a healer in this present time, no doubt. Praise God. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Until we meet, God bless you. God bless you.